So we get into the introduction sequence here for the Nike women's 100 meters. T.T. Terry ranked collegially at USC, now twice a world champion in the 4x1. And they got a glimpse there of New Zealand's Hobbs, the oceanic record holder. Here's the Olympic champion, Elaine thompson Hira. He's She's improved after only getting fifth at the Jamaican Nationals, all the way to 1084 this year. And maybe if she can find another season's best, she can be a factor here. Second fastest woman all time and her lifetime best set on this track a couple of years ago. Next to her in lane four, Marie Jose Tolu. Now 34 years of age, world championship silver medalist in the 100 and 200 in 2017. Hello, Shakari. <laughs> the queen has arrived. The 100 meter world champion will start in lane five. But make no mistake about it. Every woman in this field would love to send her into the offseason, as we saw with Noah Lyles, with a loss. Another woman ready to put on a show, Sharika Jackson. This is the setup, Otto, because the featured event tomorrow at the end of our program is potentially her going after another Flojo world record at 200. You're going to want to watch that tomorrow on NBC as she goes after Flojo's 35-year-old world record, the silver medalist from Worlds this year. Here's Dina Asher-Smith, the British record holder at both 100 and 200. Very mixed year for her. We're not used to seeing her miss podiums at Worlds, but she's been struggling with some injuries. Sasha Morrison of Jamaica made the World Championship final when it was in Beijing at the Bird's Nest back in 2015. She gets the draw in lane eight. And last out of the tunnel will be Lance Co of Great Britain, who is improving mightily. She became just the third British woman to break 11 seconds in the 100 meters after Dina Asher-Smith and Daryl Nida. And that is certainly great for her, but it also helps the British four by one, which is always competitive. So just like we had in the men's 100, you have the world champion in the middle of the race in Shakari Richardson in five and a bunch of women who would like some revenge for not having won Worlds, not the least of whom, I think, is Sharika Jackson, who has not beaten Shakari Richardson at 100 meters for the entire year. The Nike Women's 100. And they are underway. Tolu had a good run, but outside, it is now in the middle of the track, Sharika Jackson. Not a bad time either, 10.70. So both world champions come to Prefontaine and taste defeat from the field assembled here to face them. So Sharika Jackson gets her first win over Shakari for the 2023 season. Talua for second in a season's best 1075. And the Olympic champion, who many people had written off as maybe that's it for her, improves all the way to 10.79 for third. And these two, we saw it. We saw it during Bu Budapest. There's so much camaraderie. And you, that celebration is because Morrison, who was only sixth, did set a personal best, though, with 10.85. Terry got a season's best as well in fifth. What they're not getting, though, Paul, and what I'm sort of looking at for tomorrow and that world record attempt in the 200, is some help from the wind. Point eight. Well, the men had point one, the women have point eight. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a little bit more wind. But here's another look. Sharika Jackson is fourth from the left. Shakari Richardson did not get a good start and never was a factor. But Sharika recovered from an okay start by her standards. She had the best second half of the race, and that's what got her to the win. So just like the men, we will have a tie at the top of the 100 meter standings. Sharika Jackson and Shakari Richardson will be tied for the world lead as we end the season at 100 meters with 10.65.
Look at that replay on the Xfinity 10G fly cam. Sharika Jackson won, but not done, as we'll see her tomorrow at 200 meters. But Ja'Kari Richardson's season is over, and she checks in with Lewis Johnson. All right, Paul, thank you, Will. Sha'Carri, the season is over. You got a smile. Tell me about your thoughts on really this race and everything you've accomplished. Oh, my gosh. My thoughts on this race, honestly, was just coming out here, doing the best I could, having the season that I've had. But I have no problem. The ladies that executed their best here, one, two, three, all the way down to me four, and the entire field, amazing women's, amazing season. And I can't wait to see these same ladies next year in 2024. And I'm sure it's going to be a crazy matchup. Listen, we talked about your season so far, consistency and focus, the two words that Otto Bolden used. Do uh, you agree with that, just on how you really made yourself known this season? I'm definitely not going to agree with Otto. <laughs> but I will say, though, I agree with having great sportsmanship, having a great spirit, and having just a wholeness with yourself that nobody else can shake is what makes a great athlete and shows a great season. And so as this season wraps up, how do you take some time off? And when do you start thinking about the U.S. championships and then that team to Paris if you make it? Oh, my gosh. Honestly, I think about taking this time off enjoying what I've done for myself this year, enjoying what's to come, and honestly, even preparing for better come the next season. And the new look today, any anything words on that? Honestly, um, I would say my coach, I told him that if I go 10-6, I wear my natural hair. So when I became the world champion, instead of championship record, I ran a 10-65. So I had to pull out the natural. All right, Shakira. Green machine. Thank you. Thank you. Dennis Mitchell, all right. Congrats on a tremendous season. Thank you so much. Thanks very much, Lewis. One thing we can agree with Shakira on, we don't always agree with Otto Bolden either, but it was a <laughs> phenomenal race, and Sharika Jackson is the Diamond League champion in the women's 100 meters.